What's up, everyone? How is everyone doing? Happy Black Friday, right? We're in the midst of the best time of the year, right? Sales are flowing. Basically, every website has some sort of discount going on. So it's time to get a, uh, get after it, take advantage of it and uh, such. And what we're going to do in this stream is we're going to be live sourcing some of these deals with you guys to show you the abundance of wealth there is sweet with this stuff because it's the best time of the entire year for this stuff. So we're going to get to it and uh, take a look, see what we can do. Um, so on and so forth right here. So we see we got 11 you guys in here. And so far, we just plugged the Discord um, as well. If you guys are watching this on the replay or you're watching this now, I uh, want to let you guys know through Monday is the only sale the entire year for the FBA roadmap. You can save $100. Um, it's probably going to make sense to take advantage of that sooner rather than later because we just dropped the Black Friday sale list bonus as well, um, which is now live within the roadmap um, for people as well. So uh, if you want a tailored list of 50 of our favorite Black Friday sales that are going Tons on. Tons of stuff will be out of stock by Monday. Sure. Well, it's out of stock and just in general, more so just finding deals quicker, getting items up quicker, placing these pickup orders and such. Um, like once again, I know I told you guys last night, I've seen more and more of my coaching students really hammering pickup orders and such, which is awesome. Um, price matching, Black Friday deals, OA sourcing, paying for ex expedited shipping, getting items in sooner, doing the outlets and such um, right there. So let's uh, let's get to it, ladies and gents. Garrett's going to man the uh, – Garrett's going to man um, – the chat and i'm gonna get to it and source a bunch of items here um so yeah if you guys are interested roadmaps 100 dollars off through monday there's the bonuses included there's a full money back guarantee all information's down below in the description um too and uh garrett's gonna man the chat and let's get to it right <clears throat> not getting up until i spend 20k today that's good energy we need that cool yeah i'm gonna just add in my sales sacks here too on that and then let's uh Blocked yes. off as an Ulta currently. Do you know how to avoid this missing a lot on the so I would clear like the cookies, the cash. Um that should kind of reset your your cycle. Uh and then just kind of go back in and use all the things we talk about, right? Change your order cadence, change your order quantities, PayPal, gift cards. An Ulta gift card really should kind of go through there. Uh so that's the worst case. Yeah, Ulta has good gift cards too, in general. And uh in terms of places to get gift cards from, top cash back, raise, and card cash can be good resources for those too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, cool, sweet. Ah, right, we can see my screen here. G body, right? Yes, sir. Cool, sweet. Okay, so um, we we'll just make sure that works. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start off. Um, so basically, every website has some sort of discount code going on. Um, so there's tons of profits to be had. Like we said, we have that list and the roadmap breaking down our favorite sales personally. Um, we can see 25 off uh, code BF. We're gonna start off. We're gonna take a look at a bunch of different sites here. Um, see what deals they have going on and show you uh, examples of lots of profitable products that are going on right here. So in terms of my favorite places to start, it, a lot of websites will specify, you can like click into their sales section so we can see click shop now. Right here, I like to filter to men's and then filter to Nike products just to get some quick wins to start off right here. We can see all of these, we have an additional 25% uh, off, which is pretty cool here too. And such, so what we wanna do here when we're doing manual sourcing is we want to scroll through and see what we think we could see selling for double or more on Amazon as we go right here. So we have an additional 25% off. So we want to look, be looking for basic colored items. 180 for those black oh, boots is a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Of, it's completely criminal. Yeah, well, these criminal. are, I've seen these at Apple. That's cheap too. Um, here, so let's see, guys. So what we could do, we you guys really like this. We actually found a bunch of stuff. So we could filter cheapest. Risk. Okay, this looks good right here. This looks good right here. Now you see, now we're seeing some basic items, right? C card for price. If they're the cheapest items, that they probably are going to be pretty cheap, though. Right here, Those so are definitely going to be a winner. Let's see. Okay, thirty bucks. Yeah, here we go. So let's see. So these guys look a little expensive. Um, let's see, thirty bucks. Icon futurity. Some of these items are going to be cheaper from multiple sites too, like other sites as well. Um, right here, but let's see. So we can see. I don't really see any of these tees being super cheap. Uh, ooh, forty, thirty bucks for this hoodie looks great here, man. You see that, Garrett? Oh yeah, that's I mean that's oh, gonna be a home run. yeah exactly right. Um, these guys down here at like thirty, I think that could be good too. Um, right here, those joggers probably go for like seventy nowadays. Yeah, let's see, black uh, NSW club joggers. Yeah, cool. And basically, every website has some sort of discount going on, so we're just gonna be going through some of our favorites right here. Um, we can see, and now we're, now we're getting a little expensive, even with the twenty five percent off. Like some of these guys are a little a little expensive. We got any shoes in here? Blazers at eighty, so like sixty bucks right there, maybe. Um, right there. Let's take a look. Right here, what do these add to card at? Okay, so we gotta clear some stuff out of card here first too. Let's see, let's get some of the stuff out of card. Boom. This is my first Black Friday source, and these sales are insane right now. Finding a new lead every uh, that's it. That's it. You gotta, you gotta good for you, good for you. That's awesome. in the wealth. Yeah, uh, that is absolutely awesome. Yeah, now's the time, right? We gotta max out, put the most time into it can you can. 
Um, so let's see. So what are we paying on these guys? So these guys are paying about 60 bucks on the blazer mids. Um, we got a whole bunch of colors here. Too. Whoa, whoa, holy crap. Okay. Uh, ah, see, the code doesn't work either. See how the code goes away, though, when we click to the blues. Um, I was going to say that looked very, very promising. Um, even at 60, that's, that might be good with no code. I think these are like a $90 sale, $80 sale. Yeah. Let's see. See, I used to. I used to find these all the time good back in the day. I had like a couple hundred of these last Q4. They're so they're just so consistent. They just let's see. Oh, white habanero red. Let's see. Let's see, we could potentially compare that. I think that that's a little off. We want definitely this black and white one, so I got a good feeling about. Let's Pete's see. struggling in the chat over here. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's he's messaging from wrong accounts. He's he's what happened? <laughs> He just commented from the Prep Talk podcast. Uh, oh, oh, nice. Boom. All right, here we go. First W of the day here. Check this out. So we can see 7.5 US right here, uh, 140. Right now, we are going to have to pay shipping right here. Not eligible for discounts, free shipping. However, we can see this guy does have the 20, 25% off, so we know it's going to work. Um, I believe it was 80 in the car. Let's verify that. Let's fact check that right here. Boom. Yeah, yeah, nice. So we can see 80 bucks, take off 25%. So we'd see 80 times 0.75 right there. And I already have about 5% sales tax factored on my sell amp calculator too. Um, this is about a 4,000 sales rank. So we know that this item sells quick. Um, another quick tip, we can see it's 140, but the seller is also charging for shipping. And we're filming this on Black Friday, November 24th. The delivery date the seller has is a really, really far out. So it's going to be really, really easy to get the buy box compared to this seller. Because uh, if you have any sort of delivery date that's better than that, you're going to be able to absolutely demolish that so that's cool and we can see um really nice and sustainable lead here looking at the keep chart too very very nice and stable yeah. um my hair so that's a super good start here we can see even if these go down to like you know 120 where they were right we're probably gonna have to toss in a couple bucks for ship just on a dtlr right here three dollars ship still make 27 dollars profit um it's not bad whatsoever right here so that's cool um let's see these uh icon these sportswear tees look good at 11 as well Right. Let me hop in here real quick, answer some questions. Do you know of any problems with ordering from Glossier? Finding a lot of SKUs below, never to put up a lot of money into one brand. It shouldn't give you any issues. In terms of IP, I don't think they IP. Um, but again, like anything else, mess with them, different order quantities, cadences. Uh, I would assume Glossier gives out their own gift cards. You can buy them as the worst case. PayPal, Apple Pay, any of those. Those are all kind of are going to help you with those cancels. Yeah, don't worry about out. cancels either. And if you're worried about like kind of diversifying, like now's the time with FBM, you can test one of yeah, different products. so like, quick. Beautiful. Yeah, you can test stuff so easily. So I'd recommend leveraging that if you're ever nervous about that. And and that's completely normal to be nervous too. Um here, so 15, yeah, boom, this is a good ski right here. Eleven point two five probably have to pay like two bucks for shipping. Right there, 13, make five bucks a piece, life ain't bad whatsoever on that skew. Right there, and we can see historically, we got a ton of history of profitability here. And look at how the competition fell off a cliff last December, too. Yeah. Like, even though it's up a little bit, we're, we're just probably not going to see a ton more down in price action. Um, no idea if that'll happen, but that's cool. It's uh, This is also, in general, just a very, very versatile skew and that, like, there's going to be other colors of these that show up pretty cheap in this Google search, too. Probably other uh, listings, too, that you could probably uh, piggyback yeah. on. For sure. The but, cool thing, especially if you guys have like quantity of some of these like basic SKUs, you can list FBM across multiple SKUs and essentially just whichever one sells first, fulfill that one. Yep. Cool. Like 22 right here. Yeah. So um, Kohl's, that's close. Um, right here, 13. This yellow one looks great though. I doubt they might not have a yellow one on here though. Let's see. Cannot see any yellow one in that listing. Yeah. Like right here, there's, there's two SKUs. Do we have yellow here? If I have to cancel an order on FBM, I paid for shipping. Does that affect my account health? Now, if you, uh, I mean, so a lot of anything that you do improperly is going to affect it. Um, but if it's one order, you uh, you um, paid for the shipping, you had to message the customer saying you canceled or whatever, it's not going to affect anything. Oh, not at all. In fact, not, literally, it's not going to affect it quite literally at all. Um, because if you pay for shipping and then you just refund the order, you're not technically canceling yeah. it. Um, you're just refunding it. So um, you and your boys, right? You and your crew should all be buying the same thing, which means you never have to worry about stuff like that if you do it right. Um, however, occasionally, you know, you might have to deal with that here and there. Um, that's fine. This was cool, man. So check this out. I found this uh, in a video I was recording earlier today. So if we're in here at 85. This, uh, These tall sizes are sneakily in stock at Shields right here. Check this out. They're literally hiding. See how it says tall right there? You can specify. And I super expected those to be out of stock, but that ends up being hella profitable, honestly. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, right? That, like, that's a good ski right there. 31.5 right there. 
that's a fire little find. Very, very low key too. Um, so those are cool. Uh, Stay up in the 4 a.m. Need some grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy's been working hard on the sourcing right here. Yeah, like you got pickup orders. Boom, Nike Owl get stuff listed same day ASAP. Get to uh, get proof of concept, replenish. Like these days are precious. That's why if you're gonna do the roadmap, it makes sense to do it now, so you can see all the Black Friday sales that are going on, and then you can take advantage of. Yeah, I mean, yeah you would pay for the you'd pay for the thing, yeah. and with the Black Friday information. Sure, there we go. Right, and there's a full money back guarantee too, so it's pretty much risk free on your guys' end. So um, if you yeah. know the shoe does well, you're not really looking at the rating review count. Uh, you can really see it. I, again, this is coming from years of experience, right? But you can tell based on the key graph if something's moving. Right, you can see the oscillation. You can see the buy box activity going up and down. That means people are going in and out of stock. Multiple repricers are competing for something that doesn't move. It's just pretty much flat, right? It's it's flat. The sales rank is a lot slower. Um, a lot of things. You, it's pretty noticeable on a SKU that doesn't move at all. Check this out. So this says private label, but the reason why it says private label is just due to a few historical sellers. We can see this is very clearly a Nike product right here, Nike Apparel. Um, right there, 31.5. Um, this is an interesting example. It says galactic jade white, but it's very clearly black in the picture. Um, so the black one works fine here. We can see 75, 31.5 right here. It's about $24 profit after sales tax, shipping fees, etc. Um, we can see historically it's been closer to 63. That's still fine, even at 33 right there. Um, because this guy's super, super light. It's gonna FBM for like six, six fifty. Right here, you make like 11 bucks, life ain't bad. Right there. So that's a damn good skew. Right there, we can see you. Nike, uh, damn cool. good yeah. skew. And the quote that, like, yeah, I think consumers are always buying with their eyes, right? They don't care that it's galactic or whatever. They see the picture, they're buying with the the visual, not necessarily any title or colors and like that. And so a lot of the color like stuff like that will actually provide a bit extra of a you know moat because it scares a lot of people off. Those like broken listings like that, the the small things add up. Yeah, I think we got a good skew right here. Um, it looks like a bunch of the size were out of stock, which is in general a pretty good sign that the size that are in stock are either going to be good or not able to be sold on Amazon from an out of stock perspective. But let's uh, let's find out here, ladies and gents. We got a couple listings right here too. Two XL, boom. Okay, cool, nice. Here we go. Uh, let's see. This is yeah. Well, wow, look at that. Yeah, forty bucks take off twenty five percent is about thirty bucks. Figure after shipping, probably thirty two. Um, and we can see 61 FBM, this guy right here, 650. That is not bad whatsoever. It's about a little 30, 33, 34% ROI, um, which is pretty good. We can also see um, this says 73 sales a month, um, even though the VSR is incredibly good. The reasoning on that is we can see that this was a detached variation for like two weeks right there, it looks like. But now this is a nice item right here and has been. Um, looks like it's trending down a little bit. Hopefully they bring back that buy box um but we can see here this is done really really well in subsequent q4s right there so that's not bad whatsoever either and there's probably other variations that are good here too ladies and gents like we can see if, they, if we're missing anything in the variations here because the reason why i like a lot of these big brands like this is because they're versatile and they're carried on a lot of different websites which makes it way easier to source as a beginner and especially with reverse sourcing too like these reds right here like these reds are in stock on nike.com too at 41 like check this out <laughs> love seeing miles show all the leads i bought earlier today yeah well that's the nice thing is that we're just speaking conceptually and like we're just scratching the surface in terms of the stuff that's available um right here obviously it makes in my opinion it makes very very little sense for anyone watching this to grab any of this stuff we can see nice and brothel right there and that means you're doing the right thing too right and that we're obviously not going to be able to cover everything that's going on not even close um right here so there's going to be a lot of other stuff to snag but well. even still right with you you're covered with speed with a lot of this stuff right with FBM, you'll have the products at your house in two, three days, sold in four or five, right? So you'll be a ton of people that are to market that are going to see this on the replay. They're going to see this in a week or two weeks, not even be able to uh, uh, buy at the same price. But if you bought this morning, you're going to beat tons of people to market. Yeah. And people are lazy too. Like it, like it just in general, like the average product you buy, you know, you're going to get it like three to five days after. And such, maybe maybe a little bit more, or even a little bit less, or doing pickup orders or retail arbitrage. Um, most people have limiting beliefs around getting the buy box FBM. Most people are not in zero to handling time. Most people are not using a repricer. So naturally, you're going to have a one leg up over them too. Most people are lazy and aren't listing products the second they arrive if they are doing FBM. Like there's so many ways to beat them um, just through sheer effort. Yeah, okay, let's see. These are black, extra, large, tall, 37. That doesn't work. 
22 no 19 that looks great these hbr shorts this is like a different skew let's see 21 please vera we got 12 percent cash back too pop and they can think i'm a bot all they want if they're giving out 12 uh 12 percent <laughs> Let's see, are we good on this? Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, Let's see Nike clearance HBR shorts right here. Oh, nice, here we go. Oh, we got a couple listings here too. All right, let's see what we got, ladies and gents. Cool, cool, sweet. And then we appreciate you guys watching as well. Like any questions you guys got, please feel free to fire away on. We're here to help with this stuff. We want as many people as possible, getting as many test orders as possible on small quantities of products to FBM. That way you can learn a lot, make money on products like this that are beautifully profitable here. What size is this? Size small. This 2XL is good. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Let's see what the size small is going for. Should I FBA my Nike shoes and raise the price? What would that would that increase the buybacks? But it's not now. I, there's just so much FBM weight being uh, earned in the buy box that I would just sell them within the next week or so. Or yeah, you I think if you list FBA, that's not going to be active for another four weeks, three weeks. Yeah, depending on where you're shipping to it. But yeah, because and now say you sell at FBM, say you sell the next couple of days, even if you sell it a little bit slower on a percentage basis, you're still going to have so much more exposure to the buy box overall because you're going to have so much more time to be in stock over a couple week period with FBM. Uh, this is actually a banger skew here too. It's actually. the validation, right? Because you list it, you sell it, yeah, even before days. Well, yeah. now you have the reassurance that it's a good skew and you can go back. Whereas you wouldn't have gained that validation for another two, three weeks if you sold at FBA. Yeah, so and that's it. two or three yeah. times quicker with FBM. Yep. Cool, sweet. Check this out, ladies and gents. 21.97 times 0.75 right here. Boom. So we can see this was not profitable from uh from um whatever site we, we started on. However, now we look here, we got a hundred percent 90 day profitability, a hundred percent three hundred and sixty-five day profitability at 16.48 right there. Fat cash back as well from Nike.com too. Pop and ski right there. Probably going to be some other sizes as well that make sense on that too. Let's see. Oh my gosh, here we go. So yeah, look at that. There's a black 2XL right there and a black 2XL right here. Assuming this is the same thing in the picture, you would want to be listed on both ASINs. It's like a weird color here. These probably don't sell too often. Yeah, these are these never really sell. I assume some jerk changed the picture. Actually, right there. So cool, sweet. Let's keep cleaning. We should definitely do some academy too. I don't know why I haven't done any manual on academy. Right here, cool. Right, let's find another skewer too. Cool, cool. Let's see. We're getting a little expensive already. Let's see. Yeah, these are super expensive. All right, academy. It is here, ladies and gents. Let's see. What we got okay. Black Friday, one day only. I don't believe that, but let's see. What we got <laughs> okay. Let's see. Right, let's do men's right here. And just in terms like. I'm going to do mainly men's Nike stuff just for like, I'm we're doing some beauty stuff actually in a couple minutes too, but just in terms like highest hit rate for what I would do if I were a beginner is going to be this sort of thing. Like, and, and what's cool too is a couple days ago on a stream, Garrett and I were tearing up Carhartt beanies as well, especially yeah. on deals actually too, um, which is pretty awesome. It's so like, there's deals legit everywhere, guys like Puma, Jockey, Nike, Adidas, um, any other beauty brand, right? Like uh, for the roadmap, the Black Friday sales were including like a ton of stuff we had on there is beauty brands actually because there's so much money and stuff people aren't really sure is reseller friendly and such right that we're not have experience selling and uh such let's see okay cool check it out all right we got yeah 1400 items or 1500 items okay okay cool it's a lot of c price and cards we're gonna have to get a little creative here but let's see okay so we already validated these are good for a couple websites let's see Long yeah it's gonna be a lot again once you you're gonna start seeing a lot of the same items so you'll know what a good price point is or not Right, those sweatpants, those sweatshirts. Anytime you see them less than like 30, 35, you know it's a banger. 40, even sometimes it's a banger. Whoa, whoa, these core visions look cheap, cheap right there. Yeah, that was a that was a Marshall's yeah, find back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. See, actually, we could probably track these down from somewhere though, because it's Black Friday. So if they're ever gonna be good, they're gonna be good now. Let's see, we want the court legacy, core legacy men's. So let's just I don't know why the like main men's skew isn't popping up here, but let's, let's see. It's popping up the women's ones. I guess we'll I guess we'll get the women's ones too. Yeah, okay. This is these are fine too. Oh, it's let's see. Hmm. Weird. Cool. Okay, we missed anything in the chat, Garrett? Nope. Okay, nice. We got 85 of you guys in here. That's pretty awesome. Appreciate you guys being here. How do you feel about FBM small cheap arms? Yeah, for sure. So like the the huge advantage for FBM is those first class USPS first class. Right? It's grab advantage. 
same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. So it's ground advantage now, which is even it's even goes up to higher types of items. But even just even so, lighter items are easier to package. They take less time to package. Yeah. So the point holds true nonetheless. Yeah, fifty bucks. Boom! This is going to be game time. Let's get it. Yeah. 40, That's what like a ninety dollar ninety dollar sale on Amazon. Uh dude, it's going to be more. I was looking at these earlier. I was trying to find these earlier on other websites. Black red. Cool. I actually think we'll definitely hit a two a day stream today because I think Warner's going to be around to stream tonight. So I'll be on. I'll be on for a lot of Q and A tonight too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet. Ten point five. Yeah, here we go. Samir, Check. what you need, big? Uh, what you need? Anyone can help. Oh, you. Forty nine. Forty nine. One hundred two point four zero. Boom. Uh, no, no, no. Forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, give me that extra ten dollar margin. Give me the twelve percent cash back. Give me the twenty six bucks profit. The fifty percent ROI. Right there, the buy cost yeah. forty nine. Sell one hundred two. It's a textbook OA ski. We can see. Look at look at that buy box spread. So Garrett, now why would the buy box be going twelve dollars above the lowest price like we see here on Keeper? What are some of the reasonings for that? I think the big one's probably that those lower sellers are um, FB like um, like charging for shipping or something like that, or, or it's just low, locational it's, based. It's zero it's day handling time. It's, yeah, or it's uh their check-in times. Like I bet you if we go here, see how see how the guy's check-in time is forever from now? Yep. Yeah, so this guy's undercutting and Yeah, you see right there, Monday, December fourth, ninety seven. Exactly. Yeah, so like of course the guy at one oh two who has Wednesday, November twenty ninth is gonna get the buy box. Like not even a question. All right there. So cool. It's like twenty six bucks profit. There's gonna be some other sides that are good too. Um ten point five. Let's see, check some of these guys out. Let's see eleven point five right here. 77 okay that one's absolutely not good for fbm should i ever consider doing priority sh shipping this time of year or just do stand no do, do the stand yeah. do the cheapest because yeah. you're covered right you're you're not really gaining any extra benefit as weird as it sounds by giving the item getting the item to the customer earlier than promised you don't gain any extra advantage right and so just do the cheapest that amazon will offer um, and if uh, remember, it's it's covered if you don't get it there in time, right? Amazon's in charge or responsible for providing any sort of refunds if that customer is not satisfied with that shipping time when you ship it through Amazon. So sixty five times point seven five buy one get one fifty percent off. Yeah, that ain't bad. Right there, shout out rack room right there. We got the bogo fifty percent. Ooh, unlock ten dollars off. All right, if that stacks, we're even more lit because you do like an order of two right here. Sixty five times two times point seven five. So that's the buy one get one fifty percent off, right? And then minus 10, five by two. That is a pop and skew, ladies and gents. Let's get <laughs> after it. Gotta love it. You see that coupon sag next to 12% cash back and rec 10 as good rewards right there. So we are absolutely popping right there. Uh, let's see, 45 right here. Uh, only retail 60 though. So I don't I don't think that's that discounted. Um, we'll see though right here. Uh, yeah, Pat, what do you need? Can you let me know? You take naps like that, Garrett? What's up? I took a nap for the first time in forever today. Yeah, so I usually I... end up taking like one or two a week. Oh, cool. Okay. Like one or two o'clock. How long? Oh, like 20 minutes max. Oh, nice. Minutes. That's cool. Yeah, I think there's a lot of science behind that. Like I've never been a good napper, um, although I'm sure if I committed, I think there's I have higher priorities in my life. But <laughs> uh, like in terms of like getting good at napping, some people are, are really good at it. But yeah, I'm sure I, I, apparently there's a lot of science in the and the quick naps like that okay let's see yeah just a little even if even if i don't actually fall asleep just like disconnecting closing my eyes just like refreshing yeah it, it helps reset the tone Did anyone else sleep in after after the thanksgiving day didn't get the nike out at 6 a.m like the rest of the crazy people i'm okay with that oh, oh no, yeah no. The bag. get the bag get the bag like get the bag but yeah, I mean, the nice thing is we, we you know, you guys are here. We're doing OA. OA is so much easier than R. There's going to be a lot of good bread with R. But oh my gosh, these are out of stock like crazy. So people are cl clearly cleaning these. Let's 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 find some revolution. Well, there's, there's always these guys hanging out here. Academy has a three order limit. So how are you buying from there? Multiple orders, baby. Multiple orders. Yep, 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 yep. Any way possible. Oh. Change computers. Um, turn off Wi-Fi from your phone. Uh, there's so many different ways to go around it. Yeah, different typically you don't have cards. to. Yeah, jig the address, employee credit cards, mm -hmm. other credit cards, changing the name around a little bit. There's there's so many solutions to that stuff, guys. Like it's beautiful. 
in half. Tried to get engaged oh. for Old Spice product. I'm doing FBA. I tried submitting the inverse four times. Now got rejected all times. Can anyone help me? Unfortunately, yeah. there were, I wish we could provide anything other than just keep resubmitting. Make sure all the information matches. Make sure you you change the file name. Put in the comments when you submit uh, that ASIN invoice for ungating. Uh, make sure it's a PDF. Uh, and then just keep at it. Make sure yep. you also you close the case and reopen a new case. Let's see. Okay, 41. Academy is looking a little weak sauce here, but we did find uh like the nice thing is we're actually learning a lot of stuff to buy from other websites now, just from learning good ASINs from here, which I guess I guess is a W nonetheless. Let's see three. And the uh, Academy is actually a good place to price match from too. Um, because the cool thing is someone had mentioned how you can only buy three of stuff. One, that's true. Two, you can do multiple orders. Three, you can price match from Academy to a lot of other retailers, Kohl's, Dick's Sporting Goods, etc. Um, in store or online to pick up some extra margin points too. Let's see, and I keep running shorts here. How am I supposed to source when I'm nuts deep in hundreds of FBM orders? Be yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. It's the human spirit. It's crazy what you can do when you know what you're capable of, right? Pay the little cousin. Pay the kid that lives near nearby, right? Have the homies over for an FBM packaging party and Pam right there. And then get back in the trenches, restock the orders, right? You don't even have to source. Just restock the orders, right? And you'll you'll be good to go, man. You'll be good to go right here. Don't, don't even worry. Like it's you just... Dial in, right? Where the party's only starting. Only so starting. Yeah, I didn't see your, your comment here. Reach out if you're interested in uh, anything like that. Reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, um, or sign up for a call. We can talk through it. Cool, cool. Let's see. Let's see. It's these guys, nine inch woven shorts here. Uh, cleats. Let's look a seller little. Seller amp is it for personal seller accounts only? I don't have a professional seller account. Uh, you don't need to attach them at all, actually. Seller amp doesn't attach. Well, you can you can log into your seller account if you want. You don't need to though. Um, so first of all, you do need a professional seller account to sell because you need to get the buy box and we're going to help you get the buy box. Um, however, you do need to, um, this looks like good to you. These are expensive. These are, these are probably going to be profitable elsewhere. Um, but yeah, seller amp doesn't actually attach to your Amazon seller account. So you actually don't have to worry about that. Okay. These look popping. It's like all look like the same skew too. This one, 13 reviews. Let's see. Black, white. Getting instant decline for Nike, then I reply to that case and get a decision in 12 hours as decline. I submit everything. What else can I do? Nothing. Keep doing it or try a different ASIN if you want. But as long as you're doing what we say, your name in the PDF, what you should be, right? You're putting in the notes. Oh, that's a ton of info. wealthy. What? That skew you were just on, the offer count going okay. down, price. <sighs> Bro, come on. Don't sleep on me. Don't sleep on me right there. Come on now. Yeah, that's. This is the best item we found so far today, right? This is the this is the winner of the day so far, right here. Boom, size large. What about the small? What about the medium? Bang, thirty nine ninety nine. It's gonna ship easy, nice and quick, nice and cheap. Four dollars shipping. Fourteen ninety eight, right here. Boom, forty bucks. That is a fan. That is a fantastic OA product, right there. That is that is a fantastic OA product. It was forty eight last year. Key floor. What if it touches forty eight again this year? You're gonna be printing one hundred percent ROI like clockwork. Right there, with even, still, even when the offer shot up almost two hundred percent, like the price didn't drop that it much. Two hundred percent, yeah, like four hundred percent. Right there, yeah. You just keep, you just keep calm and print the well. Right, you buy, you FBM, you replenish. You buy, you FBM, you replenish. You do the pickup orders. You do the retail arbitrage. You spend a bunch of time doing OA. Right, you sit at the computer and you buy good products. You FBM them. Right, and then when you get the FBM orders. You fulfill the FBM orders as quick as possible because you're in zero to handling time. You have the repricer on. Once you have 10 plus ASINs, you go to the link in the description. You use the affiliate link to get it signed up for BKIL. As you're shipping out the FBM orders, you snap a quick picture. You post it on Twitter. You tag all the all the guys in the community. You tag all at Amazon. Billy Flips, Flips for Miles, Fields of Profit, Zero to Handle Time, Pete's Flips, Big Cat FBA, Max Anthony FBA, right? Sadiq Wahab, right? I am Dylan Sort, right? You tag all the gang, right? That brings more people to you. We all retweet it, right? You meet more Amazon sellers, you find more leads, and then you repeat. You buy, you FBM, you repeat, right? You replenish. You find Do most more of the Black Friday sales end today, or will they roll through the weekend? No, There's probably uh, going to be that extend. There's going to be even more sales on Monday, Cyber yeah, Monday. Yeah. yeah, in terms of cumulatively, rare, because but yeah, like in general, like today's going to be really, really good. So like today's as pretty much as good as it's going to be in terms of the time value of money too, because you can buy 
And especially when we talk about pickup orders or expedited shipping, like you can buy and replenish ASAP. Okay, let's do some beauty stuff. You guys have been asking about beauty stuff um, right here. So what I'm going to do to start, so I know this brand's reseller friendly, um, or at least has been. So we're going to start. We're just going to see what Amazon's showing us when we search here. And then it, there's kind of further st stuff you can do like this. Like you keep a product find of this brand um, is a good idea. But we can see, see how the pricing on all this stuff is like, 0.96, 0 0.41, 0 0.50. It's not, it's not regular pricing. It's irregular. This is how we know it's reseller friendly, right? So we know that this site has, I think it's 30% site wide. What is this? Marley Norman? Something like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've <laughs> never, cool. never heard of this brand ever. Something like that. Yeah. So I think it's, uh, let's see. I think it's 25% site wide. This is definitely something, something that Warner would find. Yeah, Warner's always been good with like uh, vitamins and beauty and stuff. So yeah, I actually found this storefront stock and I just doing beauty stuff. Right, we got to figure out what their Black Friday sale is too, because I know it's it's either twenty five or thirty percent site wide. We just got to be able to dial in and figure out. Um, so cool. Yeah, so we can see all these are reseller friendly, right? Just people in the buy box right here. So it's uh oh stability. Holy mother of stability, right? Thirty five bucks. Let's see, okay, what's the Black Friday sale they got going on? As I called Dick Sporting as a price match uh, for in-store pickup, and she said one, I they can't price match under in order of thirty. Two, the retail and price matching has to be in the local area and have the same quantity. Now that's go to a different Dick's. They're they're like that that person has this bureau to complex. <laughs> well, oh here we go. Okay, here we go. Plus, spin our wheel of Merle out of chance. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we could get. If you spin it up, you're going to get either 20 or 30% site wide right here. So let's see. 80 G's right here. Boom. What was Miles saying about the ungate decline thing? Yeah, just keep resubmitting. Make sure all your, your information matches up. Uh, email address, account name, all that stuff. Address. Uh, make sure you submit as a PDF. Just keep resubmitting. Put in the comments when you uh, submit the ungate, that ASIN invoice for ungate, uh, and you'll, you'll get through. Make sure you also close and reopen the new cases. Cool, up to 70% beauty specials. We enjoy 15% off next order right there. Yeah, so let's see. I'm trying to, trying to figure out what the site wide is, but uh, even even this like low-key works too. Uh, but it, it appears though there's a way to get cheaper right here. But yeah, 35, because like that's fine for beauty, right? When you consider FBM. And so we'll take a look at a couple more of these too. But I do want to get uh, kind of fixated on what the, uh, what the actual deal is too. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm literally seeing the psychology in real time about what what goes into finding this stuff too. Yeah, look at that. Clinique thirty percent side wide. Go type in Clinique into Kiva Proc Finder and find the best items. The That's a really good brand too, Clinique. Uh, plus, been a well, Black Friday. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, here we go. How is it so hard to find the sale? It's not on the front page. Uh, it wasn't, man. Yeah, but I, I like, I'm sure that you can spin this thing and, and get the thirty percent, like wherever that is. Like I that's i'm sure is the way to do it right here so we can see oh, you probably have to like add things to the car and spin it or whatever yeah, yeah exactly like let's let's see and see what happens here 312 right here cleansing cream yeah okay let's add this to card see what happens you bag okay all right let's see supply codes here shout out coupon birds oh that's a new one i haven't heard of that one it's good man it's really really good so guys, as you're doing all in arbitrage product research, there's a bunch of free Chrome extensions you want to have. Um, they're all free. Uh, Rakuten, Capital One Shopping, Top Cash Back, um, Coupon Birds, Rakuten, Retail Me Not, Be Frugal. Uh, you want to have a bunch of those, and that'll make product research a lot easier here. Okay, let's see. All right, well, we got to figure out how to get this Black Friday sale here too, or George should not get a look at a different website, but there's got to be some way too. I don't know why it's making it so hard, but like, like the, a lot of these... If it's even 20%, it becomes profitable. Their website said there's a way to get 30% too. Um, but I, I don't know kind of what's up with that right here. But the cool thing too is we can even just storefront stock from here and find other OA beauty brands. I mean, the thing with that one is it, it, the offers are going up, but that price is steady, steady. Like, let's see. Can we find Summer Fridays? Let's take a look at Summer Fridays here. Let's see, 22 right here. Oh, yeah, lit. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Can we just find other OA beauty brands? Yeah, here's some other OA beauty brands. Clinique right here. Let's see. Let's see if that Clinique item works. 917 right here. City Block right here. 22. Boom. Game time. Game time right here. I bet. I think you got to be careful with beauty is making sure the sizes match up. 
lit. True, true, true. Okay, 22 right here, so that doesn't work. This guy's close, though. It's been profitable in the past. Um, right here, let's see. Summer Fridays right here, 42. Oh, these are lit. I bet you these work. Boom, here we go. And they have some sort of deal going on. So 25, 20% off with code cyber right there. 24, lip balm. Okay, what's the sizing here? Uh, let's see. 20. It looks like it's the same. I mean, well, we, obviously, I, you want to yeah, validate. obviously, prior to buying something, you need to you need to verify that, um, right there. But yeah, it has a oh, 0.5 ounce right here. Oh yeah, zero point five right there. I think right there. Nice, cool, sweet. All right, so yeah, I mean, you love to see it. Like you really do have to. You really you gotta love the game. You gotta respect the game, right? But if you play the game, you can win it. Where like we can see, there's only nine stars on 30k rank. That's a good skew, right? So we just found two straight leads here, just from the dudes. Uh. Dude, store. Oh my gosh, look at that buy box share shooting out. Or that buy box spread. That's a $15 buy box spread. They're like 40 yeah. There's 34 right there. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I mean, heads are selling that at 48, not 49 all day. Yeah, 24. Take that off right there. Boom. Game time right there. So yeah, 24. Take off 20. Now it's profitable, not even assuming you're going to price up the high, but people are literally buy boxing at, at 90% ROI right there. So that's cool. Right, so you gotta love it. Let's all just keep going with this and store fun stock, find some other beauty beauty uh, stuff to look through right here too. So let's uh let's see right here. Right, and then if you guys like this type of sourcing, just wait till you see the stuff that's in the roadmap going over like some of the other types of sourcing, keep a proc finder, price increases and such. Like you're gonna really, really be able to clean up on stuff. Let's see. Okay, two faced right here. There's going to be some sort of discount here. 14 right here. And then we can see, assuming that stacks, which I feel like it would, right there, 30% off site wide plus get two right here, 30% site wide. Yeah, so assuming that 14 stacks right there, um, 14, take off 0.85 right here. Um, oh, it's actually not good. I thought it was going to be good. It has been good for a while right here, like right there, but um, definitely price tanking, competition shooting up. We're going to pass on that um, right here. We can clean some of this other stuff here. Uh, nine dollars we need right there. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Kia Coles, eleven. Red. This is either going to be good or, or pretty close to being good. Because you could Coles gift card this too, probably. Right. So you pay like ten. Oh, right. big time, big time. Yeah, so eighteen, right there. Eighteen. So it's eleven. Say, say you do top cash back, right there. Okay, that is not good. However, ooh, buy box is going higher though. FBA. FBA 21, right? A lot of people have FBA this at 21 and and gotten three bucks profit. Definitely not a fan of that though. I think there's easier money elsewhere. But that, that might be more profitable somewhere else too. But you guys see, like a lot of these skews are good, right? Like not everything's gonna be just sitting here beautifully profitable, but a lot of stuff is damn close. And we can only show so much in these in terms like just time in terms of these videos, but a lot of these products become good right here. Like 17. I sold some of these a couple years ago. 17 Home Depot right there. 24. That doesn't work. Let's see it. Oh my, that's two straight people that had that uh that that whatever this guy is right here. Oh yeah, because that was 24. So it was at 50 previously. So that actually works. Oh, is that the Ryobi thing? I'm pretty sure Home Depot owns that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, that definitely works then. Or that's gonna gotta be where it comes from. Uh let's see, Juvia's place. I have no idea. And I wouldn't recommend just looking up random stuff like this, but this could totally be good here. How accurate would you say seller and estimated monthly sales is? I mean, it's close enough. It, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you gotta also remember, right? That sales estimate from from uh seller amp is a cumulative amount. So a lot of this stuff is is variation based, has a lot of different sizes, colors, etc. So that's gonna be an estimation of of all the different sizes. So you'll want to look at the keeper graph to make sure you're dialed in on the particular variation that you're buying. Elliot, that that keep the graph shows some velocity, shows movement, shows people going in and out of stock and kind of go from there. Okay, so this is an eight ounce. How many ounces is this? One pound. For FBM on clothing, do you ship in bubble mailers or prefer boxes? I prefer uh, not bubble the bubble mailers because those are expensive. Just use like poly mailers. Poly, yeah. Yeah. The decline offer, how much is this? This one pound? Oh, nice. Here we go. This is good. This is a half a pound one, so we want the one pound. Let's see. Uh, yo, guys, does do new listings have a very high BSR? If yes, how do you know if a listing is new? So you'll see in the history of the keeper graph whether it's or how many days that listing's been existing. Sometimes you'll see, like for an example, if you scroll down, 
Uh, it's gonna scroll down. Maybe not. It's gonna scroll down. Oh yeah. Oh my bad. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. So you'll see all like two thousand days, twenty four hundred days, right? So you'll see how long that listing has existed. Some you'll see a couple months. Some you'll see a couple weeks. But if something's moving, no matter how long the listing is, is existed, it'll you'll see it moving. Okay, this is looking like a major bull. This is out of stock, unfortunately, though, but I would definitely put my email in here. But 6.45, pretty sure this is the right thing. 6.45 times two. Yeah, it's like 100% ROI right there. That's pretty, pretty damn good, right? 17 folklore right here. Some little uh, vinyl action right here. Let's see. Let's take a look at some of this other stuff here. Too cool, cool, cool. Okay, we got these uh, women's revolutions we hadn't looked at. Right, there's like that storefront stock in the beauty was lit. Like those couple of bolos we found, like there's just way more stuff to find just storefront stock from there too. Look at how many variations there are on here. It's obnoxious. Do you just put most small items in a pot? Uh, for sure, right? It's it's the cheapest way. It's the quickest way, most efficient. Uh, it'll get the item. I mean, as long as it's like clothing, right? As long as it's like not breakable yeah, or something box. like that. Yeah, if it's like a shoe box, yeah, breakable or a toy, like you definitely want to box it up. And you can get boxes from like, Walmart U line pretty easily right here. Okay, let's see. All right, these guys. What do we what do we get in these guys? So we want lots of 44 reviews. Okay, 75 right there. Seventy-six right there. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. Oh, 35 bucks looks great there too. Okay. Let's see. Black and pinks. What's the most expensive in these black and pinks? Yeah, size nine, one hundred. Let's get rich. Yeah, size nine's in stock. Big time. Forty nine. Forty nine times point eight five. Yes, it's forty one hundred piece. Thirty three dollars profit. Oh, and that keeper graph is steady. Yeah, look at that stability too, right? We can see it's hanging out. Um, right around there, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, Albert, I mean, essentially, this is really what we're looking for, right? That buy box is pretty consistent. It shows velocity, right? In the past couple of weeks, days, you see that buy box going up and down, people going in and out of stock. But ultimately, you want to see like a relatively steady offer count. And if not, enough velocity to withstand the increase in offer count. Um, and again, just like that activity, right? You can see several times that buy box going up and down, but it always kind of comes back up. And so it's just that naturally long-term stable product that we're looking for. Yep. Boom. Absolutely beautiful thing. That is a that is a fantastic. And even this particularly, product. right? You could even see people going out of stock, right? You see that break in the the line, the the, the offer count line. You could see people going out of stock. People are only going out of stock, of course, if something's moving pretty fast. This is a good skew here too. Yeah. Boom. Seventy-seven. Pay thirty-five. We're here. It's, it's like 47, take off 25% right there. Boom. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's about $20 profit right there. What we'd see is a little bit lower there, but predominantly here, if we see the last month, which is as long as this listing's been around, this has been good. Um, right here. And let's see, what's the spread on the other people's? Oh, yeah. Like this is favorable. Oh, wow. Rare to see a self fulfilled prime. Um, self fulfilled prime used to be a big thing. Um, pretty much no one's eligible to fulfill in it, to my knowledge. Um, these days, but it is a very, very good thing. So cool. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Nike stuff Macy's got waiting for us here. Let's see. Forty-five. Let's 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 see what the cheap. The, the cash back is just out of control today, too. Uh, like it, like it is absolutely out of control. Let's see. Eleven right here. Now let's do Belk. I like Belk. So like those shoes, right? They're solid. And I understand that. Keep a graph. But that website you're looking to order from Shop WSS, is that a site that would be able to be accepted to on Gate that brand, of course? Yes. And anywhere else we've looked at today. But just use the, if you're worried about that, just use ASOS or like the Nike website and buy some headbands. Nice and cheap. 12 looks great right there. 8 looks great right there too. These guys look great. Really cheap. But yeah, guys, on is really, really easy. Just use one of the big websites, Kohl's. Uh, ASOS, Nike.com. ASOS is really good these days, but but everywhere works. You gotta understand, everywhere works. Does Braun usually IP com, uh, have IP problems? I have. I don't know that brand. Oh, I can't remember what type of product it is. But the key is with any IP issues, you have to learn to make your own decisions on that stuff and look and decipher whether or not the there's a bunch of listings with a bunch of third party sellers on them. You look at a couple listings, see if there's any IP complaint history. Um, and you're either going to be, you're going to be able to make a good decision based off that. Let's see black and white here. Oh, how much are these? $12 on clearance. Okay. Let's see. I got a good feeling about this. 
So, I mean, looking at a couple, they look pretty steady. The, the offers are over 20 historically, over 10 historically. I just looked at one listing, but you should be good with Braun. Interesting case here. This is 700K ranked that actually sells. <laughs> like, that's pretty rare. Um, it's not quite profitable enough, though. And I can see that it has moved from the uh, the Keeper chart, too. Let's see, Nike boys, Nike sportswear shorts. Okay, not liking those. Let's see, definitely take a look here, though. Any specific KPF criteria running today? Uh, I mean, I would. I mean, you could target like smaller niche brands. Maybe there's like a beauty brand that is having a site wide sale. You can use Keeper Product, like Miles was talking about, like Kanique. There's a site that's pretty specific. You can use that to filter the brand, find the best products, and map it back to the site. Keeping in mind that your price is probably gonna be cheaper. But your your most effective, your highest converting way of source today is just kind of replicating what we're doing here. Targeting, targeting a specific site, a specific type of product, right? Whether it be Nike, Adidas, whatever, and just kind of hopping from site to site. <laughs> right there, yes. Yeah. So KPF, demand increase, price decrease, competition increase, or competition decrease, price increase, um, demand increase. My bad. Um, individually, or you could combine those if you want to get really specific. This is a fantastic OA ski right here. Uh, 12 bucks into 31. Gotta love it. You gotta love it right there. We can see we got uh six month 100 percent profitability right here low point is about 20 bucks um we can see it's 22. Ooh, let's refresh this though we get the accurate keep it chart here oh yeah here we go yeah see it's the last year it's only been stock since october um right there 12 bucks into 31 that's a fantastic oa product right there so that's cool and then some of these other sides gonna be good you with me gary yes sir oh cool, cool my bad okay i hadn't heard in a sec and i can't see you either <laughs> so <laughs> cool and then if you guys want more sauce um we just we uh, a couple days ago we dropped a buy box bandits podcast episode on uh q4 as a whole and then also one on black friday sourcing as well so i'd really really recommend taking a look at those getting seller up and keep it now as we speak what are the first thing you guys would do i would essentially replicate what we're doing now identify yeah. a couple of sites that that have good sales that have significant markdown uh, and just kind of bounce back from amazon to seller up as, as miles is doing Right, start with Nike men's, Nike women's, whatever, uh, and then just look at some of the items that are fifty dollars now, fifteen, right, seventy now to forty, right. Some of the bigger delta items, things, things that just look normal, basic colorways, that sort of thing, and then just use Sellerimp to source that efficiently, right. Map it back to Amazon, now bounce back size and compare sizes and kind of go from there. Yeah, another thing that's cool, if you, it's this brand called Bombas right here. These are these these are auto and gates. So if you want to find auto one gates, go to listings like this that have a lot of sellers in this brand and storefront stock from there, low review sellers, and you'll be able to find other auto one gate brands too, which is very a very, very good way to find stuff. Oh, jeez. What, what? Doesn't get more stable than that. Yeah, well, yeah, and the, the trend on that guy is beautiful too. 69 right here. Ooh, look at that spread. Beautiful. Look at that competition shooting down right there. I think this guy's WSS here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Here we go. <clears throat> Does Amazon look down on listing one item, selling it, and then deleting the product? No, no, no. Don't worry about it at all. Never worry about being out of stock on stuff. Print the wealth. Diversify the risk. Right? Your brain wants to think this is complicated. Your brain wants to think there's a lot of rules that make this stuff work. There are no rules, right? That's That does not matter at all. You could buy one of stuff and test it all day long, and that'll that'll really help you diversify risk too. This is a fantastic item right here. Buy box and at 70, 68 right here, literally yesterday, 67.50, right? Buying it for 29, make like 25 bucks profit, 80% ROI. That is a fantastic OA ski right there. And we see competition shooting down as well. Which is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I mean, we're, we're picking this guy up for like twenty nine seventy five, right? The here. offers have never really surprisingly been over like fifteen twenty. Yeah, which is weird too, because you'd expect that to not. You expect a listing like this to, I feel like, be more populated. But that's cool, right there. I'm literally the seller in that buy box right now, Miles. <laughs> out of boy, out of boy. Good, good. That's awesome. Good. I, I hope it's printing. We'll promptly not look at that item anymore. Let's see, <laughs> see, see. Let's take a look. We'll save shields for another uh, video too. 
um here but you can see there's a lot of wealth to print right here late like like everywhere is good like i did adidas.com like legit like i'll show you guys like adidas.com was doing for a video earlier right just look at this it was like those were good uh, or close that looks fantastic at nine bucks i didn't even look that up i don't know why um right there a bunch of beanies that were good shorts t-shirts etc Right here, these guys sold out. Essentials, big logo tee. That's nine dollars for a t-shirt like that. That's probably yeah, like and, that. and well, you you, know, you can't discriminate though, right? Because we also have the uh, you also got the the fat the fifteen percent cash back, right? Yeah. And the gift cards too. So you can't discriminate, right? <laughs> oh, the sales. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's just cheap though. Let's see, seven K rank right here. It's probably the same listing, honestly. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, so we'll pass on those right here. It's like this, some like eleven dollar slides and stuff, which is pretty awesome too. But yeah, definitely take a look at this. Another sleeper stuff. A lot of like Jordan gear, like black, like Jordan, like hoodies and stuff. Like this stuff can be good too. And right here, and it's just not a bad idea just to see what Amazon's showing you when you're searching some stuff. Like that's a pretty good idea. It just has to have a lot of reviews to justify, like for it to be good volume. But like if you just search like Nike T-shirt, like you're gonna be able to find a lot of good Nike T-shirt listings because that's what the customers seeing. Like. If you search yeah. here, some of the stuff totally ends up being good. Same thing for like Under Armour and stuff. Like these Nike drag like kids, I used to find these all the time. Like these are probably good from somewhere right now. I mean, there's a reason why. Yeah, when you type oh. in those general search criteria that Amazon's pushing it to you, right? It's because people it's converting. It's people are buying them. All right, it's cool. So yeah, look at that nice and stable right there. Extra small here. Those already were profitable. We already found those. Yeah, let's see. I bet you they have these, but they're out of stock. Oh, it's just the red guys. Out so we're only paying like 11 bucks here. That's that's like pretty bullish, honestly. Okay, so not seeing those cool, cool, sweet. All right, so appreciate you guys watching this uh, this sourcing here, which is pretty fire, right? Roadmaps, uh, nice and discounted there. It's a hundred dollars, it's only the only sale we do for the entire year. And then we'll definitely do more sourcing videos. So I appreciate you guys watching this one too. And then, yeah, we'll do a little bit more QA here as well. Um, I'm excited to head to dinner soon. Let's see, we're on track 15k today. Holy shit, that's awesome. Um, B frugal capital one shopping top cash back racked in, um, uh, retail me not coupon birds, be frugal. I think I said that twice right there. Yeah. So, both you on IG. Cool. Um, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 What's up? What are the Chrome extension? Oh, you already hit that. Any, um, any final questions guys? Wait, I'm sure we'll be on later today. Oh yeah, for sure. Cool. 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 Cool, 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 sweet. All right, appreciate you guys watching. Um, DMs are open if you got any questions, Instagram and Twitter um, right there. And we will uh, see you guys soon. Appreciate it.